everybody, let's talk about why the huge prison cat is possibly the most broken, uh, let's just call it the most broken huge pet and or event that Pet Sim 99 has ever had. And that's saying a lot. At the very start of the event, when we first opened up this door, it was pretty cool. Like, we're like, oh my god, we got a brand new thing. The chest opened up right here. But as you guys went over to this egg, it's fixed now. When it initially came out, this egg was 32,000 coins just to hatch this bad boy. 32,000. But if we go back to world one, this egg right here is 1.4 thousand coins. You guys could put on a bunch of coin enchantments and all that good stuff, and you guys still could not hatch this bad boy with the charged eggs on. So you had to basically, I mean, you could do charged eggs, but you only could do it for about an hour and then the game would make you go farm a bunch of more coins. So to get this egg, it was roughly, so 1.4 coins times 20 was roughly like around like, I don't know, like 28,000, I believe with the math is correct, 28,000 something. So it was, if you turned on charged eggs, it was 28,000 uh, uh, coins to hatch this bad boy, which is still, you would still burn through your coins a lot, a lot faster, right? So the fact that it was 32,000 coins was pretty much impossible for the player to actually grind out that last egg. I mean, let me know. Were you guys that were playing this game, did you guys run into that issue as well? So basically, you would uh, you'd grind your area, you'd try to hatch this egg, and you'd be able to do it for about 10 minutes, and then your coins would run out. On top of that, everybody, on top of that, so not only was this egg 32,000 coins to, to hatch, they nerfed the coin limit from 7,000 bars, and they nerfed it down to 2,000 bars for a player to max out on. So not only was this more expensive, but you now didn't have enough coins to hatch it for longer than about five to 10 minutes. And who has the time to come back and hatch this egg every five to 10 minutes? I'm just saying. Anyway, that was bumming a lot of people out. Next, and I, I'm sorry I keep ripping on this. I will get to the good stuff here in a second. You had the last area, which is awesome. This is a big W. We needed this in Pet Sim like the old days. We needed a, a community chest to break for a bunch of friends to get in and do this. So I think the chest idea was awesome, but putting it in the same exact area as the egg that we needed to hatch may not have been the best idea because players obviously and i got a pretty decent team some titanics i got rainbows and shinies and a lot of huge pets and i was still having an issue breaking this uh chest in the amount of time it would take me to hatch this point where i would not where i would need to get more coins right because when you guys are inside this area your pets are going to hit this chest and they're not going to farm you coins at the same exact time granted the chest does give you a buttload of coins when you break it, but a majority of the players didn't have the power to break this chest in time. Now it's good, but in the beginning, kind of a bummer. The other big, big deal for uh, this entire area was, so you had to basically prioritize how you wanted to farm this last area. Did you want to just solely worry about breaking this chest and hatching this egg to get that police cat? But here's the problem. If you do that, you're gonna have to prioritize chest breaker and getting a lot of other stuff in order to give yourself enough power to actually break this bad boy. Cause if this don't break, then you can't hang out in the last area. So my normal loadout is this, and this is my grinding loadout. You know, we got a boss chest, we got the magnet, got boss lucky, some stuff, got the superior chest mimic, uh, chest mimic and all this stuff. So this is my normal loadout to grind out items and diamonds, right? But anyway, the best loadout that people were using to actually break the chest was I think the corrupt, I don't have the corruption one. Um, they were using the Corruption Enchantment along with, um, I believe, what was it? It was like, so you did two Criticals, I believe. You did Strong Pets, a couple Treasure Hunters. You had to do Coins, obviously. Um, chest Breaker was crucial. We'll talk about this in a second. Um, some people use Fruity, depending on what your, uh, what your max was or whatever. Um, some people use that. Um, they use Fortune, obviously, maybe two Fortunes. And I think the you know, whatever, whatever your loadout was, depending if you're paid to win or not, you had to sacrifice a decent grinding loadout for a decent chest breaking loadout. And that was, you know, making people not really get as many items. They were just focusing on this chest. As you guys can see, I still haven't broken it yet. Um, after keeping in all that stuff right there. So it's going a little faster now that I got chest breaker and some more stuff in there. But essentially what I'm saying is if you guys were to go out in this last area here, and let's go out here for a second. If you guys were going to hang out in this last area right here, you can at least drop a fortune flag and those sprinklers, and you can have your pets grind out a ton of items and diamonds, so that way you don't have to worry about breaking the chest 
you're sacrificing the chest for getting items and diamonds, which is what a lot of players were doing, right? If you're not hatching uh, huge police cats, then this area is kind of wasting your money. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's kind of what I'm saying. If, if it, it all depends on if you guys are actually lucky at hatching stuff. Because if you weren't, this area was kind of pointless for a lot of people. The other big deal was Chess Breaker got obviously immediately uh, inflated the second that this update came out. It went from like 6 million gems to I think like, like yeah, it was like 132 or 142 million over the course of like two hours. So normal everyday players couldn't actually grab these things. They were too darn expensive. And then of course you can get the huge police cat from the uh, from the bank heist, which is really, really cool. The biggest problem that I've been noticing, and let me know if you guys, like I said, if you guys have run in this too, if you guys are having your pets grind either here or at the uh, area number four. So let's just leave them there for a second. Um, when you guys are hatching this egg, I don't know what it is, if there's a bug or whatever, but as you guys are hatching this egg, there's two things that happen. One, it does turn off your guys' auto hatch the second you step away, which is different than it was in the last update. So literally, you just have to make sure you turn on auto hatch when you guys go back because it does turn off automatically. But the big thing um, that people were experiencing was that when you guys are in the training plaza, have you guys ever seen that bug where as you guys are in there, you guys get booted out and it says, uh, I don't know, can't remember what it says. But basically, too bad, bro, you can't come back in for 15 minutes. Um, that bug was happening left and right. I think I myself experienced this bug probably, I don't know, 10, 15 times. Um, so quite a bit. And then if you guys are AFK, which is a majority of the players in this game, if you guys are AFK, that's a big issue if you're trying to hatch pets, right? So that was, uh, that was the other big, big issue. So to combine the keys, everybody, you got to come in and talk to Preston or Prison P. Prison P convert prison keys so that's how you had to do it you can either do all of them some of them or just one of them um that's how you did it however a lot of people didn't know this as well it was on the blog post but nobody reads the blog post but essentially if you guys combine the keys it doesn't count towards your uh, your clan battle so just so you know that um if you guys want to open 5,000 like uh, for myself i think i have what 5,000 of them yeah 5,448 uh prison keys so that's a lot I'd rather probably combine them into 544 golden keys that make it a heck of a lot easier. So that's just me. Some people would rather sit at those things, maybe make a macro to open themselves up a bunch of those uh, um, prison cells. But anyway, that's how you did that. That's the issue that a lot of people were having is they didn't know they had to come talk to Prison P. I think Prison P probably should have been at the beginning of the level or probably like somewhere that it was a little more easier to see for the normal everyday player. So. That's, that's probably why people were having an issue with that. Um, another thing that people were, uh, I guess, uh, bummed out about is the fact that, and I didn't experience this myself, mainly because I was always in, uh, I was always inside the police HQ, so I never noticed this. But a lot of people have been saying that the mini chests are not spawning, they can't rank up. I've seen this a couple of different times from a couple of different people. But yeah, um, I guess, so if you're trying to complete like rank quests or something like that, where you need to break uh, mini chests in order for you to, you know, pass the uh, the rank, I guess mini chests were not spawning for a lot of people. Let me know if you guys noticed that bug as well, because that would be a big bummer, especially if you're trying to grind out rank quests.